This series of training videos consists of several videos in which you will learn all the tips and tricks related to the integration of Acronis Backup Cloud and Microsoft Azure. This video focuses on setting up Microsoft Azure as a storage for the Acronis Backup Cloud, whereas in subsequent videos, we will have a look at the backup and recovery operations that can be performed within the Acronis Backup Cloud and Microsoft Azure environments. So let's get started. The Acronis Backup Cloud is one of the services offered within the Acronis Cyber Cloud, an innovative platform targeted at managed service providers, telcos, and resellers. It is a powerful hybrid cloud backup solution for managed service providers that protects all their customers' data, such as servers, workstations, Office 365 mailbox, and Azure Virtual Machines anytime, anywhere, and faster than anyone else. In turn, Microsoft Azure is a flexible, enterprise-grade cloud computing platform created for building, testing, deploying, and managing applications and services through a global network of Microsoft managed data centers. The Acronis Backup Cloud is natively integrated with Microsoft Azure by means of the Acronis Backup Gateway. This integration allows you to perform full backups of customer data sources to the Microsoft Azure Cloud. Moreover, Acronis Backup Cloud allows conducting full backup of Azure Virtual Machines. As regards recovery operations, it allows conducting full and granular recovery of Azure Virtual Machines and databases and applications which live within those VMs. You can leverage all of the competitive advantages of the Acronis Cyber Cloud, such as proactive artificial intelligence based anti ransomware protection military-grade data encryption in transit and at rest, and much more. Let's imagine a managed service provider who has been using Microsoft Azure and wanting to further differentiate themselves in the market by providing high-quality data protection services for their customers. Therefore, they select the Acronis Cyber Cloud as one of the easiest and most secure data protection solutions available in the market. Before installing the Acronis Backup Gateway, you need to purchase a subscription license for the Acronis Cyber Cloud from Acronis. It should be noted that the prices for the Acronis Cyber Cloud are very affordable, even for smaller novice service providers, whereas the advantages outweigh the costs. Along with the license, you will get a link, username, and password for the so-called Acronis Cyber Cloud Management Console. This is a sophisticated web-based tool that you can use to trace and manage all of your backup and recovery operations. In order to set up the Microsoft Azure as a storage for the Acronis Backup Cloud, you need to deploy a storage gateway, which can be seen as a proxy between the Acronis Backup Agent and the Azure Blob Storage. This gateway is available in the Azure Marketplace for your convenience. Log into the Microsoft Azure Portal. Navigate to All Resources and press the Add button. Search for the Acronis Backup Gateway in the Marketplace and press the Create button to create a new instance of the Acronis Backup Gateway. On the pane, Basics, complete all of the required information such as username and password for the VM's admin account, public access policies, password for the Acronis storage web panel, subscription type, resource group, and location. Press the OK button to proceed to the next step. On the pane, Gateway Settings, specify a size for the new virtual machine. We recommend selecting Standard A2. Provide a name for the new storage account. As a storage type, we recommend selecting Storage, General Purpose, version 2, and Cool if those options are available. As a replication type, select 
Locally Redundant Storage. Press the OK button to proceed to the next step. Specify a name for the new storage account container. In the section Public IP Address, specify a name for the new public IP address and select Static Assignment. Finally, in the section DNS Prefix, specify a DNS prefix for your backup gateway. Press the OK button to proceed to the next step. On the pane, Acronis Backup Cloud Settings, provide the credentials for your Acronis Backup Cloud Partner Account. By default, the URL for the Acronis Backup Cloud is specified as https colon backslash backslash cloud.acronis.com. Press the OK button to proceed to the next step. On the pane summary, make sure that all the information is completed correctly and press the OK button. As soon as the VM is created, the new storage will appear automatically in the Acronis Cyber Cloud and can be assigned to new or existing customers. That's it with setting up Microsoft Azure as a storage for the Acronis Backup Cloud. See you in the next video.